Hello everyone, my name is Fitterspace, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clip out of bounds in 007 Nightfire. So, as always, you can see my input display on the right, there's my control stick, there's my C stick, and this is the first level, the exchange, and eventually you come up uh, into this room right here. Um, normally you would... Library, 007. Yeah, you see, you hear uh, her saying, normally you would go down here and go through a bunch of rooms, but that's really slow, so we can actually clip through this bookshelf, go out of bounds, and fall down there, and just go straight over there. This door right here, um, that's the last door that we need to go into uh, for this section of the level. So surfaces that you can clip on, or walls that you can clip through, um, whenever you go up to them while you're crouched, you press X, you know, X is how you crouch, or at least with my control scheme. Uh, and whenever you press X again, you don't uncrouch. And you can actually take advantage of that, because um, Bond's hitbox is different when you pull out a gadget, versus when you just have nothing in your hands. So we're actually going to go up here, pull out a gadget, and then while we uncrouch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this bookshelf, and the visual cue that I like to use is there's this uh, there's this green book right here that's slightly tilted over. I like to aim slightly to the right of that while moving forward. And so you're constantly holding forward like this. You cycle through your gadgets and then uncrouch at the same time like this, and then you crouch again and you fall straight through the ground. So I'm going to show that a couple more times. You go up to the wall, but you want to take like a little step back like that. You don't want to be completely up against the wall because then you see that didn't work. You want to be slightly back. So you step forward against the wall, take a little step back, then press up to go toward the wall, uncrouch, and then pull out a gadget at the same time. So you kind of uncrouch into the wall like that and then you pull out the gadget makes your hitbox a little bigger and you're able to fall through the floor then you crouch again see that um, I messed up that time but you can see it works most of the time it's pretty consistent it's actually it's not that hard to do you can see I got it there that time too but you end up falling in this uh, this black void like this this is what ends up happening but if you touch the ground you die so the way to prevent that from happening uh, once you clip out of bounds when you're falling in this void like this all that fall damage that you're getting is just constantly adding up so right now I'm falling like I'm, I'm just constantly falling right now so as soon as I touch the ground all that fall damage adds up and I just die so the way to prevent that from happening, once you do the clip, see that's an example of doing it wrong. Once you do the clip, you want to get to the solid ground as soon as possible. That way you won't take any fall damage. So you do the clip, pull out the gadget while uncrouching, just as you're about to hit the wall. And there you go. You go right through and you make sure you, you want to make sure that you hit the floor as soon as you can uh, you don't want to be in the void for too long so you can actually land right here you can barely see it but there's a there's a little platform right here a little bit of a floor that's out of bounds for some reason and you can just walk through that wall by the way uh, it's not solid. It's only solid from one side. So luckily you can just walk through the wall. See, I can't walk through it this way. And so that door up there is where we go to. So I'm gonna show that one more time before I go to the next one. There's several places in the game that you can clip through. So you go up to it while you're pulling out the gadget and then uncrouch at the same time. So just like that. And you'll know you did it right, because you'll be at kind of like eye level with this thing. 
um, if you did it wrong, let me just do it wrong real quick, I guess. You see that I'm like much higher up than I was before. See right there. So I just press X again. I just fall straight through the floor. So I have another save state at a in a different level. This is uh, the, the end of night shift. So there's one part where you have to go up this elevator and go through this vent. And normally you would go down here, you know, go down that vent. But you can actually clip through this corner. This corner is kind of the same way. Although it doesn't prevent you from uncrouching, so I guess it's a little bit different. But we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to be holding up. Now this time you don't have to actually take a step back. You can just keep holding forward. And then just pull out your gadget while you're uncrouching. You just fall through. That's the easiest one in my opinion. Just look in this corner right here. Pull out the gadget while uncrouching. Uh, I say it's easy and then I make a mistake. But yeah, you see, uh, this one's a lot more consistent than the one in the first level. I think it's easier to look slightly to the left of that corner. You see, it works every time. I'm going to do it one more time, because this one's really easy. So, pull out your gadget. I press right on the D-pad. Um, but I mean left will work too. It doesn't really matter. So pull out the gadget while uncrouching, and then crouch again. You end up falling right about here. And this is where you would you know, do the rest of the level. I have another save state. This is, um, this is Chain Reaction. Uh, right at the beginning of the level, you go down this, like, vent right here. And you're supposed to take a picture of, you know, that jetpack prototype. You can actually go straight down here, and we can do the same thing we did in Night Shift. Where we clip through this corner, and we'll end up outside. So we want to have nothing in our hands. That's the important part. You have to have nothing in your hands. So if you have your weapon or a gadget or something, you press B. And you'll cycle through your weapons and eventually you'll get to where you have just you know your fists so that's the important first step so you look again we're going to look kind of to the left of this corner so there's the corner we're going to look a little to the left of it while we're holding forward uh, we're going to cycle through our gadgets and then press x at the same time see and you see we end up outside so i'm going to do that again so have nothing in your hands, look slightly to the left of the corner, and you see this is the, the whole void thing I was talking about earlier. Uh, you see you'll actually die just like that, uh, just like in the first level. So you gotta do that one a little bit fast. So then that, this is where you just do the rest of the level. Um, I have another save state, and uh, I guess I don't. It's okay though, it's at the very beginning of Phoenix Fire. But this is actually the hardest clip. Well, I won't say it's the hardest clip, but there's a little bit more to it than just a clip. Alright. So it's actually at the very beginning of this level. I'm gonna make a save state here. All right. So we're actually gonna clip through this doorknob because this it does kind of the same thing. Where if you do it just right, it's kind of hard to uncrouch sometimes under this uh, if you're at the right angle. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Um, this is the one where you have to take a little step back. Um, if you just keep holding forward like this, you can clip through, but it's a little bit easier to do it. Um, if you take a step back. So you could just do this like you do all the other clips. But you see that like uh, when you uncrouch while you're at this doorknob sometimes you'll end up to the left or to the right of it if you're not perfectly aligned with it. So I just think it's easier to take a little step back then move forward while doing the same thing. You see I have to hold left. Um, you end up out of bounds like this. Uh, again. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it, that's what happens if you mess that up. So we do the clip just like normal. This one's actually uh, a little bit finicky, I think. So there's a there's another easy way to do this clip. Um, but I'll show you that one in just a minute. I'm gonna do this one one more time. You take a little step back, move forward while pressing right on the D-pad to cycle through your weapons, and uncrouch. You see, I ended up slightly over here, uh, and that caused it to not work. So you hold left to fall down the stairwell the whole way. If you don't hold left, let me show you what happens. Um, like you'll just fall down right here. So you end up having to uh, just play the whole like stairwell stage. Not, well, this isn't really a stage, I guess, but you just have to go down the whole stairwell when you could just, you know, clip out of bounds and just skip the whole thing. So. You can see how like finicky this one is. You hold left so you just fall all the way down and then you just go straight to the door. So if you find this one hard to do, because it kind of is, uh, you can actually go over here, right here. This is where the stairwell starts. Uh, you can actually use this handle to clip on. So you take a little step forward you see you fall into this void, but you just go up to this door, and you can press A to go through it. You don't take any fall damage from doing that one, so, you know, if we do this one one more time, you see at the very end I take like a bunch of fall damage, but when you do this one, you take no fall damage. even though you get into this little void uh, as long as you don't touch the ground you won't take any fall damage it'll say warning not all objectives complete but you don't have to worry about that so I'm gonna show this one one more time you have to be at the right angle to it let's say I'm facing like this you see I won't I won't get it I'm at the wrong angle like this you see, I won't get it, so you have to be facing it straight on. Just like that. And you can see my input display if you're having trouble with this. Uh, feel free to comment and I'll try to help you out with it. But there's one more clip that you can do. Um, this, this clip I actually gave it its own video because it's so much more complicated. There's a clip you can do in Countdown. Um, but it's a very difficult clip, and I've actually made its own video on this clip. So I'm going to link that in an annotation. Uh, and if you want to learn how to do a clip in that level, uh, you can just watch that video. It takes a long time to explain. It's like a 10 minute video. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, have learned something from this. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment, and I'll try to help you out.